So you've had a chance to look at many different worlds from an investment standpoint. And I think about the crossroads between crypto and gaming is a really important one to pay attention to. But yet a lot of people out there don't actually know the history of that. You've been there in both worlds early and maybe arguably at the beginning of those crossroads. How do you think about that and how has that evolved? The thing that I think people who've been in crypto for some period of time know, but many people maybe don't know or, or have forgotten is um, you know, the crypto community and the blockchain community um, largely has its origins in the gaming community. Hmm. I mean, it, 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 several of the people who were really pioneers in, in crypto and blockchain were gamers. Sure. Um, it's inside of, um, of game environments and in some of these immersive game worlds where digital objects and the concept of, uh, of applying value to digital objects um, first took off in game worlds. Sure, Whether sure. Whether you're talking about EverQuest or World of Warcraft or these worlds where, uh, where, where people figured out that um, whether an object is made of, uh, of atoms or bytes yep. is, is really insignificant to its value. What matters is whether you've created something that people want and whether there's an instrument by which to monetize that object. Sure. So when you had people, I mean, some of the earliest pioneers of crypto, the, the, their first move entrepreneurially was to create the markets inside of these massively multiplayer online games mm -hmm. uh, and enable people to earn and then sell the digital objects that they earn or make inside of the digital world. So mm -hmm. you have a lot, of, a lot of interesting things happening. One, you just have people who, as they came of age and they moved from you know, young gamers into entrepreneurs themselves, um, they were incredibly fluent and comfortable with mm -hmm. digital objects. Sure. They understood and believed in the idea that digital things could have intrinsic value. Sure. Um, and they were um, qu quite comfortable with the, the, what appears like friction to a lot of non-gamers in terms of how do you access these digital objects, how do you use them, how do you trade them, how do you protect and secure them. Um, but the concept of, I mean, a lot of the ideas of the, of the crypto economies and the idea of, um, of the concept of work or proof of work or doing things in order to earn digital objects that have value and so on, all of this stuff came from gaming um, and, and then has been applied to the crypto economies that, mm -hmm. have, that, that, that have since evolved. So, uh, I mean, that's, again, one of the reasons why I think there's so much to learn about crypto from the game worlds and mm -hmm. also why I think that the group of people that are most likely to embrace crypto first are largely gamers who are already most of the way, if not all the way there.